Welcome back. We're off to Lima Senior and Division Three on the WLSN Selection Show as we take a look at the Lima Senior District in Division Three. And as we put that up there, and of course, this is one that it's uh, it's kind of difficult to get Ottawa Glendorf. I'm going to take a look at the top half first. You see Archbold in there, and obviously, if you're an OG fan, you're looking at that. Some local teams also in the mix. Van Buren getting a bye as well. They'll take on the winner of Paulding and Cor uh, Coldwater, Liberty Center, and Liberty Benton. So a battle of liberties there in uh, Addie Elida on uh, the 26th. And uh, a good looking bracket there too, I think, Mark. Well, I think there's some interesting games in that whole matchup. Obviously, Ottawa Glendorf and Archibald, the Archibald number one team in the state right now in Division Three, And of course, we know what the Ottawa Glendorf has done. That's, those are some interesting games. But if you just look down, I look at Coldwater, and I think they will get by Paul. And Coldwater is a very physical basketball team, and that's a team that can give Van Buren some trouble. So look at that 12 and 4 record, and then look at Coldwater coming out of the MAC. That's an interesting matchup right there. And then down the bottom bracket, those three teams Fairview, Tenora, and Bluffton those are three interesting basketball teams down at the bottom of that bracket. Bluffton started out with nine wins in a row. Then they've been kind of four and six since that time, but they've got three good guards, and when you've got good guard play in a tournament, you can be a factor. But obviously the favorite teams in there, OG and Archibald. You know, you have to look at that bracket and wonder, is it going to be? And I know there's a lot of other schools that are going to have a say in that. But you have to look at that and go, is that, is that particular district going to be just a collision course between Ottawa Glendorf and Archibald? And these are teams that have met twice in the last 12 months. And Archibald's 2-0 uh, Ar Yeah, right Ar Archibald won there last year in the regionals. Then it got them this year in the regular season up at Archibald early in the season. A very competitive game. OG was ahead late. Archibald came back and won at home, but you look at the co quality of competition and the, the play of those two schools, it would be an upset if they're not in that district final playing each other on March 9th at 1.30 in the afternoon. It could happen, all kinds of upsets happen in the tournament, but uh, from a favorite standpoint, those two are certainly the favorites. You know, I think with it, we'll, we'll talk about kind of where, where Defiance ends up there in a little bit. And we've seen those other schools in the past, but you always have that team, it seems, that is below 500, not really expecting a whole lot from them, and then they, they make a little bit of a run. Not necessarily district final, but they string together two or three wins. And, you know, as a coach, we've heard that from a couple of uh, coaches so, so far today, you really can't afford to overlook anybody. There's still a couple regular season games, but really those teams – you know, even though they're they're struggling, they're below 500, but they can still pose a significant threat. Well, the interesting thing is, you know, in the Northwest Ohio, the seeded teams take buys whenever they can. Now, not always. I think Arlington chose to play this year, and they could have had a buy, but usually the seeded teams choose to take buys. You go down to the Southwest, and they want to play. The seeded teams jump right on the brackets early on. And they want to play games. I think because of what happens in Northwest Ohio with upsets, coaches a little bit more. I think I'm going to be a little bit more sure of myself and take that buy and not run the risk of that upset early in the tournament. We're going to have Tyson McLaughlin here with us uh, on the phone as we uh, get a chance to talk to OG, who always seems like they're making a run, and they're always one of those teams that seems like that we're talking about as we get into the middle part of March. We're talking not just district final, but regional semifinals, regional finals, state trips. It always seems like that we're following uh, Tyson McLaughlin and the OG Titans at some point. Well, they've got a senior-oriented team, and that's, that's a key right there. Uh, they've got size. They've got a great guard in Owen Hegel. You've got to have a guard to win in the tournament. He has not to be the best player on the floor, but he's got to be a, a competitive one. And he is one of the better players, Owen Hegel, Owen Hegel is. You've got a fan base that will follow you and take the crowd with them. That's an advantage wherever they go. And, of course, be where they play at with Lima Senior and then Bowling Green, pretty good proximity to Ottawa Glendorf. They're going to travel well. They've got all those things. They've got an experienced coach. They've got a program that knows how to win. And Archibald's the same way. I mean, when we yeah. talk about those guys, but from our area and, and down around here, that's why Ottawa Glendorf, year in and year out, is picked at the top of the Western Buckeye League and as we go into the tournament. Should be an interesting matchup. Should Ottawa Glendorf and Archibald meet the Blue Streaks and the Titans? But there's a lot of basketball to play mm -hmm. before we get 